Happy holidays. Welcome to your love reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is a reading for the collective. What messages do you have for the collective spirit? For them and their divine counterpart. In sync. You just get each other. Perhaps you finish each other's sentences or you know what they're thinking. This connection feels effortless. I feel like this. Sometimes there's somebody that comes along in your life and they connect with you in a way that you've never felt connected before. This is an energy where you guys don't even have to speak to one another, but you and them both understand what the situation and what the connection is. Even if their words are not verifying it for you, you still have a deep understanding that there is some type of support system between the two of you, that you guys are kindred spirits, that there's something very sincere with inside of this connection. And I feel like for some of you guys, this has been a time where it's been very uncertain, uncertain of the outcome, uncertain of what exactly is going to happen. I also get two for some reason with this card, there's been a level of worry or almost anxiety because you and this person have some type of motion or some type of circle or pattern, karmic cycle that you and them keep going into. But I get overwhelmingly within this sink, you and this person will begin to get in the same motion. This worry is going to dissipate. This irritation, this soothing, there is going to be something very soothing that comes very, very soon with you and this person. Because I feel like, yes, I knew that card was going to come out. The divine masculine energy is responding to the divine feminine energy and carrying out <clears throat> intuitive messages. Soul level connection. Because you guys are doing this work, right? You guys have been working really hard. Whether it's working on your finances, working on your shadow work, but it's also a lot of fifth dimensional type of energy. It's this energy where you know that the higher your elevation is, the better the outcome is. When you guys continue to remain positive, it's a state of mind. When the only thing you guys have in mind is to win or is to have what you can, no is not an option. Why something cannot pan out is not even in the equation. It's how to obtain this person. And I feel like it's going back and forth for the both of you guys. But what you're starting to understand is that by working on yourself, working on these intuitive um, items that you know that you need to correct, this person, it's allowing this person the space and the ability to work on them too. I feel like you're going to get ready to have some type of level of recognition where you're going to realize that this person really does admire you, that this person appreciates you. I get overwhelmingly right now that there is a sense of focus or a spotlight that's on you where this person almost feels like they're watching you. Even from afar, they may be watching you on social media, watching you from a distance. I get that this person is very focused on making things right with you and very focused on what's to come because there's something about you that's irreplaceable. This is an energy where this person feels so connected to you even if you and them have not spoken, they can't even explain it. They've, they've tried multiple times to express it. But I feel like with this person, they didn't understand it. But now they're becoming more awakened here with this fifth dimensional energy. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they know more than what they're leading on to. You are doing something to them where you're setting their mind, body, and soul on fire. And it's something that they cannot control. And for the first time in a while, your person is not trying to control this emotion. I feel like they're going with it. They're going with the flow here. The unexplainable. You feel something inside, but it's difficult to describe how it makes you feel. A profound lingering emotions which no words can explain. See, that's why I love tarot. But for me, tarot, the tarot cards are more so for you guys because I'm an intuitive reader. So the fact that I just said that to you and this card comes out as complete confirmation. You guys are two souls working together to come together as one. This is an unexplainable bond that again, 
in the language, it has a hard time vocalizing, it has a hard time verbalizing because it's something that can't be seen. This is a very childlike energy where there is a sense of innocence to your connection. And I feel like this connection for a period of time has been demanding a level of energy. It's been demanding this person to learn to love you. But in order to learn to love you, they had to have that be open to them in the sense of you loving them. Because why would somebody like you love somebody like them? Whether it's your age, whether it's your race, whether it's how you were raised, whether it's you guys being the same sex, whatever it may be, there's an energy here where this person really imagined you and them being together and fantasized about it, but it happening in front of their eyes in real life, that's something that they've never could have fathomed. But now they're opening themselves up to that possibility and they're no longer closing it because I feel like whoever this person is, they've always closed down this possibility when it comes to the two of you because of external outside influences, because of how they do their life, you know, their ego, numerous things. But this person can't deny the fact that your energy makes them feel in sync. This person cannot deny the fact that there's an unexplainable pull towards you that's like nothing that they've ever felt before. Unexplained events or unplanned events. Meeting at an unexpected place where both of you were not expecting to meet is normally how soulmates meet. Prepare for the unexpected. When you and this person came into contact, I think that they thought you were going to be like everybody else. I think that they thought, you know, yeah, I'm going to make contact with this person and then go along my merry way. Never did they ever think for a second that you would have such a significant impact on their life the way that you did. I also feel like too here with all of this energy kind of flowing simultaneously, there's a level of synergy between the two of you that's coming into sync. And I feel like with this person, it's almost like a butterfly effect, right? Where something so small can impact something so large. You've made this person think about things differently. You've opened this person up to other possibilities, other realms, other ways of doing things than how they were raised than how they were told that they have to be. I feel like you met this person and it was very complicated. But with every complication, this was a very spiritual, spiritual quest. This was a quest where this person had to dive deep. This is a person, this is a quest where this person had to get lost in order to go inward to solve this problem. Because there was a problem that needed to be sorted out with inside of this person. And I feel like that's why this person has been so defensive. That's why this person is so guarded. They're protecting themselves. They're protecting their security. They're on guard because of whatever it is that truly does hold them back. But what you've done is you've illuminated that. Whether that's fear, whether that's a sense of loss, whether that's how people perceive them, whatever that may be, you've illuminated this aspect in them and you've asked them, why does it matter? You've made them shift their perspective and also their focus on what really matters to them. I get that with this person, they hold a lot inside, hidden feelings. They could be in denial or trying to control the situation by suppressing their feelings until they release the need to control these feelings will build. See, with this person, what's happening is these emotions are getting too intense. These emotions that they've had, the reason that they truly do suppress them is because it's ego driven. They were stuck in this ego, making them unaware of their true power, making them unaware of who they really are as a soul, this ego, right? This over um, infatuation with money, with finances, with career, with how people view them, with people's perception, it's all due to fear. That's why this person, when it comes to you, hides. Because what happens if they let down the mask and you see them for who they really are? Would you want them? Would you respect them the way that you do now? Like this person has all of these questions that I feel like they're going through. 
And I also get with this person, they're ready to make some type of decision. They may be going through some type of legal matter or something where they feel like they're being judged. There's an important situation that's being brought to the forefront right now where this person is really going to have to use a level of assertion. Where this person, how inflexible they are, they're going to have to learn how to go with the flow. This is not something where they can outthink something. This is something much deeper that they're going through. And that may have something not to do with you. I do want to I, I do want to say that they may be going through something in their life that you don't know about and it may have nothing to do with you but you are feeling it because you and this person are so connected so them going through it is making you go through it but the thing is you're going through it because it's almost like you're internalizing it like it has something to do with you but it doesn't availability there will be so much support in this relationship, everything ranging from emotional support to basic needs met. I mean, that's a beautiful thing. If you think about it, having that type of support, having that type of availability, it's something where it's very magical. There's this level of iridescence to this. And the one thing that I can say is that with these two cards, they're both holding on to each other. You both have been promised to one another. And with whatever this person is going through, whatever they're hiding from you, whatever, you know, them even being in a sense of judgment, whether that's physical judgment within the court or just judgment of themselves, this judgment is allowing them to be with you in their entirety. This judgment is allowing them to have this sense of availability to have this truth with you, to make this surrender, to give into the relationship and to give into the terms that are set forth because the reality is these terms were never set forth by you. That's where this person is confused. This person always thought it was a, it, it was a way to control them. They're tired of being controlled by everybody. And, and when you tried to show them something, it was almost like, well, what are they gonna get out of me, right? How are they gonna, you know, it, it was almost like tactics. And I feel like now this person is giving in and they're coming to the terms that they want to make amends with you because you had nothing to nothing to gain from being good to them. You and this person may agree to disagree on certain things and that's okay. You don't need this person to see things exactly how you see them. But you do need them to accept it. And I feel like with this person... They're finally in this state of acceptance. I feel like this person is finally in this place where things are winding down. They're tired of always stopping this energy. They're tired of always fighting with you. They want to be available to you. They want to support you. They need your support in, in, in all senses. And this is a situation that's happening very soon that is unfolding. Because again, I keep getting overwhelmingly that there is going to be some level of recognition here. Whether you recognizing this person or this person recognizing you, there is some type of success here. Where your plans, where your visions, they're finally coming into fruition. And for some of you, it is being the king of the mountain. It is a sense of winning. It is a sense of validation. Whatever your winning may be. Lessons, you have agreed with the soul, with the other soul to, ha to have and provide valuable le life lessons to each other for this lifetime. Find the lesson within the connection. This connection, you're teaching this person what love is. You're teaching this person how to love. But as you're teaching this person how to love, this person is also teaching you how to love yourself. What do you need in order to be whole? Because the universe and God is all about balance. There's a negative and there's a positive here. Your lesson is to teach this person to open their heart up, to expand their horizons, to expand their thought process outside of their ego, outside of whatever is going on. 
And I feel like it is a painful experience. But during this experience where this person didn't love you the way that you needed to be loved, because here's the thing that people forget. Somebody can love you, but they may not love you the way that you need to be loved. And a lot of times we demonize this type of energy and we say, well, because you don't love me the way that I need to be loved. Therefore, you don't love me. That's not true. We're all different. We all have different perceptions. Why would their perception be better or worse than yours? It's still a, just a perception. You've lived two different lives. But the beautiful thing about this connection is that it's unexplainable. And the unexplainable was planned to happen. These hidden feelings that this person has, they're exploring in this fifth dimension and they're asking you not to give up on them. They're telling you, I'm going to love you the way that you need to be loved. But this person needs to trust you that they're trying to open themselves up, that they're trying to make themselves available and vulnerable for this type of light. It's rainbow energy. It's healing. It's powerful. It's divine. But in order for this person to become available for you, they have to understand why it is important. That's where this lesson comes in. You hold a certain amount of knowledge about each other. There's things that this person knows about you that you don't even really understand about yourself. So as much as you are teaching them, they are teaching you. It is a mirrored type of effect. What you see here is not what you get. It's something much, much deeper. This is a rabbit hole that you two are about to go into and start exploring with one another. We were just talking about mirroring. Your twin flame is reflecting back the truth. This can cause feelings of vulnerability, which can trigger one or both twins to run from the relationship. I can understand that, right? When you want something so bad and then finally that person gives in to you, it's scary because why is it changing? Do they really love me? Do they really care about me? Why all of a sudden are they coming back? Why all of a sudden are they changing? See, that's a scary thought, but see, the thing is, this person has been evolving and changing this entire time because their feelings were so deep. This person may even feel as though their feelings for you are deeper than your feelings for them. Because I feel like with this person, this person may come off as very cold, needing to be alone, but this person really does want you. But in order for this person to have you, they have to know everything. They have to understand things in its entirety before they make this jump. There are certain hidden secrets where this person has really had to look beneath. This person may have even wrote you numerous things. This person may write poems. There's something here with this person writing something but never expressing it to you. For some of you, you may have recently picked up journaling or writing things down or saving certain things that apply to both of you. Whether it's saving, you know, gifts or memes or certain Instagram or TikTok or whatever, there are certain things that you're going to notice are beginning to appeal to you. I also heard that if you're watching something, whether you're watching TV, if you're listening to music, if you're talking with your children, there, there are certain things that are said that are jumping out. There are certain things that are almost coming out with like capital letters, even if it's all written the same. These are messages from your twin where they're trying to connect in the 5D to you, but it's relaying or it's referring in the 3D. I feel like whoever this person was with in the past they were with them out of convenience and not because they love them. Awaken fears. Your worst fears are being awakened, such as rejection, abandonment, loss, or commitment issues and bringing out the skeletons hidden in your closet. I think that you do this with one another. Because this is about evolution. 
This is about transformation, about transmutation. This is a sense of alchemy. Taking what scares you the most and using that energy and transforming it into something positive. That is alchemy. Both of you guys are very vulnerable right now. If there's abandonment issues, those are being very vulnerable. If there's ego issues, those are being exposed. You and this person are exposing your innermost feelings, your innermost fears to one another so that that person can see you. This is about being stripped naked and looking at that person and saying, can you deal with me? Can you accept me at my whole, at my entirety? Or does this scare you off? Is this something you can't handle? There's a veil here that's thinning between the two of you. Where you're each looking inside of one another and seeing yourself in that person, but it's a different version of yourself. There's a sense of understanding why you guys are holding on to certain things. What makes you tick? It doesn't matter if you're more elevated, if your frequency is higher than this person, that doesn't matter. It's shadow work that's being done here. This is about recognizing certain secrets that we've had, that we've held on to for a period of time. And I feel like up until this point, these secrets may have not been divulged in fears of that person running away or in fears of truly allowing yourself to open up to this person and this person to open up to you. But I get that for the first time ever or first time in a really long time. You're able to sit here and show yourself as who you are. And this person is finally seeing you. They're seeing you in a way that maybe you've not seen yourself. They're learning lessons from you and you're learning lessons from them. You both are in this place where you're understanding that nothing is unplanned. Nothing is not meant to happen. Everything is happening because there is a significance to it. It's an effect. And the possibilities are endless. There's potential in this relationship. However, that this could translate to being a project and it's up to you to decide whether it's worth it. The possibilities are endless. It could be endless in a good way or it could be endless in a bad way. How you determine to transmute that energy is up to you. For some of you guys, you're going to be receiving um, word from this person that you're going to be spending the holidays with them. You will soon hear good news. That's something um, that will cause you to celebrate and rejoice. With great patience, you will achieve the commitment you're looking for. This will be the kind of love that only many dream of. See, that's part of the problem, right? How can this be real when, when everything in your life, like with this person, if they've never had true love, if they've never had that, if people that were meant to love them only hurt them, this is something that they've dreamed about, but something they never really felt was obtainable. So now it's obtainable. You have to be very patient with this person because of this person's fears, because of this person's jealousy, because, you know, this person may have certain types of addictions, drinking problems, drugs, fixations, whatever it may be. You've shown this person it's okay. You've shown this person like, hey, I have things that I'm uncomfortable with too. You've allowed this person to be them. And by allowing them to be them, you're creating this awakening, this connection. And they're ready to put the work in and manifest a reunion in the 3D. I can't make this up. Look at the card on the bottom. It's reunion. Both of you have learned a lot about yourselves and understand the potential of this connection. This reunion will be physical in nature. You and this person are meant to be. 
This is like a Kundalini type of experience where it's awakening all aspects of yourself. <clears throat> There's supposed to be a higher level of commitment here, whether you and this person are already married in the spiritual realm or whether there is marriage involved here, you may be married to this person currently. Or this is a situation that is going into a major type of commitment that does involve marriage. There is a celebration. There's so many possibilities that are coming in here because you've awakened this fear with inside of this person and allowed this person to say and see you differently. Your twin may be different to you. Cultures, beliefs, age, status. This could keep you apart until the differences are resolved. What's happening here is this person is realizing you're not any, you're not much different than they are. How you see the world may be different, but your ideologies, the way that you know you process things, there's a level of synergy between the two of you where it just works. It's not oil and water like this person thought. Maybe you're olive oil and maybe they're coconut oil. Who knows? You guys are two of the same. But with a masculine and a feminine perspective. But when the divine masculine and the divine feminine come together as one, that works in beautiful harmony. There's something about that energy where the divine feminine protects the masculine in the ethers and the masculine protects her in the 3D. What messages do you have? If you haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Messages do you have? What other messages do you have for the collective? The sun. There's a lot of illumination that's happening with inside of this relationship. And I do want to show this because I think that this is important. With this situation, this reunion, there's something coming with this. Because this is a very high vibrational energy where the both of you are happy, where the both of you can see each other with the other person. There's a level of success here. This person, uh, Leo Aries energy, but this is just the energy in its entirety. This person is taking lead here. This person is allowing themselves to love naturally. They're not trying to hold back this energy anymore. They're being very confident. They're taking the lead here because now they understand what the truth is with inside of this connection. Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Aries energy. This person is manifesting. You've manifested this person. There's something very magical about this connection where you guys have all the tools to make it work. You've already agreed in your soul life to take this leap of faith, to come into this lifetime together. This person is realizing that. They're realizing you guys really do have the, all the tools that you need in order to succeed, in order to have a beautiful relationship. But now it's putting together a plan of action on how to work it out. Solving problems that once before seemed to be fears of theirs, but now it's just something that they're looking at from a very different or a high perspective. This person may be very emotional. Pisces energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio may be very emotional during this time period. This is somebody who's a lover. This is somebody who's very, very romantic, but likes to pretend like they're not. This is an energy that's very trustworthy. This is true love. This is a proposal. This is something where this person, they have the ability to either be Prince Charming or a player. And I feel like in the past, this person was a player. I feel like in the past, this person had a lot of options. This person lived in a very um, foggy type of environment. For some of you, you're getting ready to move. You may be even getting ready to move in with this person because it's a chariot. But the one thing I want to say is that you're overcoming obstacles. Obstacles in the past that would have stopped you. Obstacles in the past where you and this person weren't working together, weren't seeing eye to eye. The Knight of Cups hides the Queen of Wands charges. But this is changing because this is destiny. See, the sun is illuminating your path together. 
there's willpower that you and this person are meant to go in the same direction, that this is a journey that you're meant to be on. But I always say this, I feel like this journey starts with self-love. And by you loving yourself, it's allowed this person to see that your intentions are pure. You don't have anything to gain. This person's feelings are growing. There's a lot of emotions here where it's a birth of a brand new relationship. It's a birth of a brand new situation between the two of you. I feel like this person is walking away from this King of Swords energy, this Aquarius energy, this Pisces, this, you know, Saturn and Pisces is, um, it, that's a rough placement, right? It's walking away from the illusions. It's walking away of their ego, of being calculated, of being ruthless, right? Of being too stubborn, of living in their ego. This person is walking away from it because it no longer serves them. Why are they walking away from this King of Swords energy? They're walking away from, it's, it's almost like this person is walking away from what they've been told. And they're going more so in inside. They're going with their heart. They're going with what they feel. They're diving deep here because they're withdrawing from this information because it, they don't desire it anymore. They don't desire to play games. They don't desire to win. This King of Swords wins at all costs. They don't care who they hurt. They win. Why are they walking away from that? Because it's the devil energy. Because it's not healthy, right? Because it's toxic attachments. It's toxic ways that this person was even thinking. Toxic ways that this person was doing. There's certain lies. There's certain illusions that's happening with inside of this person. And the real reason that they're having this major illumination is because the two of you guys are meant to be together. They're turning their back on this devil energy. They're turning their back on it and they're looking towards this twin flame. Towards this four of wands, towards this sense of happiness where this person is really in this place where they want to work on it. They're working on themselves in order to be a bigger, better them. Someone that can be strong and somebody that can protect you. That's what this person is working on right now. So if you've not heard from them, it's because they're working on them to come back to you. If you are in communication with this person, this person is in a place right now where they're working really, really hard to provide themselves the ability to open up. That may be them getting help from other people. That may be them talking to somebody that they trust. Nonetheless, this person is being very brave right now and they're saying that they're done with this devil energy. They're done with this toxicity. They're done with their karmic attachments, their karmic ties, whatever illusions and temptations that come with this King of Swords energy. They don't want it anymore. They see the truth. This truth has been illuminated with the sun. So this is your reading. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your love and support. All of the cards used should be in the description. If you want to pick up the Neon Awakening, you can purchase that um, with the link in the description. And with that being said, I love you.